In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a hand-painted overlay and add it to a photo inside of Photoshop to give your image kind of a painterly, organic look. I have an image opened up into Photoshop CC, and I'll go ahead and access my overlay file. Now, I created this with black paint, and I just brushed it over a white piece of paper. And then I photographed it so that I could use it in my photos. I'm going to go ahead and take this image and drag it over my image in Photoshop. Now, the image is a pretty high resolution file, but sometimes it'll drop into Photoshop and it'll look pretty small and it won't quite fit the image. When this happens, then you just need to resize it. I'm going to hold the Option or Alt key, and that'll just kind of keep that image centered. And then I'm just going to stretch it out so it fits up to the edges of the frame. And when I'm finished, I'll click that check at the top. Now, over the Layers panel, I'll change my blending mode down to Screen. If I toggle this on and off, you can see it's adding a little bit of a faded look, and that's because the overlay is not pure black. So it's retaining a lot of the original tones from those painted brush strokes. I could also try the blending mode lighten. This gives the edges a little bit more of a crisp look, but even though it retains a lot of the same tones in the image below, it can sometimes discolor the edges, which is why I prefer the screen blending mode. If you'd like to bring back the original brightness in the image, it just takes a really quick step. I'm going to select the background image and duplicate the layer by using the keyboard shortcut Command or Control J. Then I'm going to drag and drop this to the very top of the Layers panel. Then I'll change the Blending Mode down to Soft Light. Now if I toggle this on and off, you can see that it's bringing back a lot of the brightness and contrast from that original image. You can also reduce the opacity if the uh, effect is a little too harsh. I'm going to delete that top layer, though. And now I'm going to show you how to turn this into a black background or kind of a black border around the painted edge. First, with that painted edge overlay selected, I'm going to invert the layer. And I'll do that by using the keyboard shortcut Command or Control I. Now, because the image was brought in as a smart object, it's adding that invert as a smart filter. Next, I change the blending mode to multiply. And that's all you have to do to change the background to black. Now I'll show you how to add a colored background to this image instead. First, I'm going to clear out these smart filters by right-clicking and selecting Clear Smart Filters. Then I'm going to change my blending mode back to normal. Now I have the overlay image in my view. Then I'll go over to the Channels panel. I'm going to hover over the RGB thumbnail, press and hold the Command or Control key until the icon changes, and then click. This loads that channel as a selection. Then I'll go back to Layers. I'm going to hide that painted edge overlay. And in the very bottom, I'm going to select a new solid color fill layer. From here, I can choose a color. I can also sample from inside of my image. If you'd like to play around with more of these painted edge overlays, Go to the Nicolzi store and check out the Painted Edge Overlay Pack. Here you'll find 50 hand-painted overlays, all unique, that you can use on any of your images just like you saw in this tutorial.